Good day, everyone, and welcome to today's video. Starting out on a very gloomy LA morning. What is going on? It's kind of actually nice. It feels like a very lazy day. Uh, the pups are just in the yard doing what they... What the heck did you just pull out of the ground? Miss, you fully pulled out an entire plant. Oh, no. Hunter Rose. That is a very fresh girl. Oh no. You killed it. Bad girl, bad girl, bad girl. Wow, I am so disappointed. No, no, get inside. Get inside right now, Miss Plant Killer. Hello, mother and children. How are we doing this morning? And why do you keep taking all their toys out? I literally keep putting toys in this pen and she keeps removing them. They are bored in here, mother. Or do you want them to just focus on your nipples? <gasps> are you already trying to escape? I don't think so. I don't think you guys are ready for that yet. And if you do, that would be very bad. I just don't try to escape, please. I know you guys are bored and you want toys, but mother keeps hiding them on you. She literally brings them outside. Because I'll leave this door open. I have to keep them separated from my dog. So they like switch who gets access to the yard. And she keeps just bringing all these little toys out here. Where are the other ones? Okay, so I'd love to do a puppy update and show you how everyone's doing with their little ailments they had. Okay, so starting off with Coconut's tail. This side looks way better than the other side because this side is still healing with scabbing and you know, it's just doing its healing thing. And then the foot. Can you show them? Look at how much better it looks. You guys, it was so wild before and now it's come such a long way. And you little miss are growing up to be such a beautiful little coconut woman. Okay, let's check on your brother. So Odie's tail, literally, oh my God. Like I can't stop looking at him because he's truly the most beautiful puppy I've ever had, ever. Feed back off ever, pull that leather. Look at, his tail is pretty much fully healed. Like, it would be kind of cute if this is like what ended up happening, like, like fur couldn't grow there because he'd have like just the cutest little lion tail. And that would be just the most adorable thing and make you even more precious. Stop right now. Why are you so gorgeous? All right. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, now you bring your toy in there, huh? Now it's mother's toy. I think that's what it is. She's like, these are actually my toys, so when I go outside, they come with me. I just went to go get this toy that she took out in the yard, and she's doing it again. She already just brought this out. Girl, I mean, this is probably a little too big for that. Oh, this one too. Oh, what did you just say to me? Who's barking in here? Who's barking in here? You guys need new pads in here too. Look at these dirty pads. These are dirty for these cute little babies. Oh, thank you. Do I need to keep you guys? I think I need to keep you guys. I need to keep you guys forever and ever because I have a thing for golden retrievers now. Yes, play with it. All right, I'm gonna clean these and this pile all needs to go into the wash. I honestly think I need to invest in a second washing machine. Just like something cheap. I'll look on like Facebook Marketplace or whatever. I don't think it's probably the most sanitary thing for me to wash my clothes after, you know, washing shit and piss off of these pads. So I think I need just a dedicated dog washing machine. So stay tuned for that adventure. Look at these two twin girlies. Can you guys guess what it is that they're looking for? Oh, we've been playing fetch in the yard, but now it's Milky's turn in the yard. So we're trapped inside and they still want to play. Okay. If you want me to throw it, you have to let it go. <laughs> I'm not letting it go. Monty, do you not know the first rule of fetch? You have to give me the ball so I can throw it for you. Oh, you had to you had to do it that way. Okay. Oh my god. Oh. Monty's right there. Monty, your ball's right there. Oh, I love how dumb you are. I just love it so much. Sniff it out, where'd it go? Monty, where's your ball? Oh, she found it! Good girl! Whew, 
you guys, today has turned into quite the journey. Um, so Miss Mama, as you know, she's had a lot of accidents in the room and her stool's been very soft. She's been on medication, but the meds are not working. And obviously, you know that they share a yard with my dog, she, Noki. I woke up to the sweet, sweet sound of a chocolate flowing, squirting, sensation. So Miss Hunter Lynn now is sick from Milky. Even though they've never interacted, she has now caught whatever Milky gave her, which I assume is just like parasites. This has happened before with Hunter, where she got too close to the puppies that were in the backyard and she got parasites and then had diarrhea. So <sighs> unfortunately she did not just go on the hardwood floor. She made it onto the carpet, so I'm doing a little stain remover upstairs and I hope it doesn't bleach the carpet, but we shall see. So my morning's been quite full of cleaning up dog poopies. Wet dog poop, not even dry where you can just grab it. No, I'm like having to scoop and it drip down. Yeah, it's been lovely. But uh, Wagmore is doing a sample of Miss Milky's poop to see what specific parasite she has that's causing it. And uh, we'll get medication. Oh, hi. Oh, do you have diarrhea too? And you need pets because you have it. Yeah. The true joys of having animals. Also, I just got this new water bottle. It's like a self-cleaning one because, um, well, I didn't realize that you had to clean your water bottles. I was like, just curious what was on the inside of the bottle. And I look in, blackness. Black mother and mold all within the bottle. I used this scrubber to scrub things out. Literal black flakes were coming off. So if you have not, clean your bottle. Because I didn't know that was a thing. And it certainly is. So um, don't poison yourself with moldy ass water. Even the dishwasher didn't even clean it. I've been putting this in the dishwasher and then I read the bottom, it says hand wash only. So anyways, I got this self cleaning bottle. We'll see how it works. Well, 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 look who it is. If it's not the queen herself. Yes, she's resting on her throne. Isn't that right? Yes. Does anybody else have a cat that like grew gray hairs because she never had those gray hairs on her face right there and then suddenly one day she was like i'm an old lady now i've got gray hairs growing yes everybody's been wondering about you they said where's sakura how come we haven't heard from her why are you being so silent i swear you guys she's being silent she's not being silenced isn't that right tell them that you're not being silenced girl the cue cards are over here, read them. Hello. So I have been so obsessed with having lemonade for just like a nice summer drink. And I wanna show you guys this lemonade recipe that I have been doing and it is so damn good. I have to have it like at least three times a day. And especially at night when I'm like craving like a sweet treat, I make myself a lemonade and it totally like, oh, it just hits the spot. So what I do, cause I'm like, bitch, I don't have time. Like I want things quick. I want it when I want it. So I get pre-squeezed lemon juice. I just take like a little splash of the lemon juice. And by splash, I mean not a splash. I mean, you know, just size it up. However much lemon you like, however tartness you like. And then just add the rest with water. Don't worry, it's not over. It's not over yet, ladies. Take yourself some Celtic sea salt. Now, this is something that I got from TikTok. I don't freaking know what it does, but listen. Adding a little bit of salt makes you hydrate a little, oh shit, it makes you hydrate a little bit more. So I add just a little bit of salt. And you know what, I should have probably done this before the ice because doesn't that do something to the ice? Anyways, we have the salt in there. Next up, Get yourself some stevia. I like to do a full dropper full, but I'm not going to because I'm making this, the drink a little bit smaller than I normally do. Honestly, you guys, like I could fill this whole thing up with it and I drink this all throughout the day. And then the last ingredient is cayenne pepper. Now this is really good for circulation and it's just, you know, adds a little spice to the lemonade. So we just do a couple of that. And bitch, you have yourself the most delicious little lemonade little treat. Oh, that was so good. 
You know what I kind of want to do? I want to use this recipe and make it into popsicles and just freeze it and then just have like a nice sugar-free lemonade popsicle. Delicious, divine, I love it.